old Joe Mars machines. And they're known in the industry for being exceptionally reliable and very cost-effective machines. So where did it all begin, Paul? Well, it was back in 1989, in fact, um, the company was founded, Joe Mars Automation. It's a Taiwanese brand. And it was around about 1991 where they then started exporting their machines to other countries in the Far East, Japan, um, you know, other areas like that. And then they got their CE marking um, in the mid-90s, and then that allowed them to obviously get into other markets such as, such as Europe. Um, it has got a lot of history, and uh, some of the things that stand out about the history is the amount of machines that they've produced, certainly in the last 15 years. I mean, there's been almost 15 new models that I counted um, in the last 15 years, and every time there's a progression in the technology. And I think, it, it, technology aside, it's also about the the cost of these machines because that's important I mean we're here at SJ Dimmock in Luton and Jamie was talking about how impressed he is with the reliability of the machines and the technology however the cost of them really you know sort of paid for themselves really yeah, quickly four or five times over yeah. I mean some of the technologies that they've introduced in in recent years is the high accuracy EDM wire cutting with B-axis um, automation, high-speed flushing, and all of these things have started to migrate onto their models, um, but reliably so, as, as Jamie said. So the machines here, they're, they're running unmanned all the You're time. You're talking about evolution of technology, but they still have the manual, the NC control, and people are really happy with it. It's almost like they've got it, it works, and they're happy and so reliable. That, that's, that's really impressive, this control, this fuzzy logic control. Again, one of the developments in... in, in uh, in, well, in fact, many, many years ago, um, to try and make and try and simplify the use of these machines. And, uh, and here you can see it on camera. It's, it really is as simple as basically here you're selecting the machining material as well as the electrode material. So if it's steel to steel or graphite to aluminium or whatever, whatever it might be, then you, uh, so you'll select whatever that is. Then you'll also select the electrode size. Um, so whether it's three uh, diameter up to five diameter, then you'll select the wear that you want, so what sort of fine or what sort of finish you want. And all of that then spits out a machining parameter here, which you'll see, which um, I know from a, a video you did earlier, uh, Jamie, with, um, with Jamie Lindsay, you were saying it was like an autofocus on a camera, mm -hmm. and, and that's how simple it is. Yeah, the whole system for Jamie just says really simple, really easy to use. And in his words, he said, the machines, they've not skipped a beat. He mm. loves the machines, and that's why he's invested in his fourth. And you look at this application here, this really is. So, I mean, this is what we come into engineering companies for every day of the week. You look at this, this is a, a, a tool here, and this has been machined on their machining centre. And then, of course, all of these cavities here have been sparked on um, the Joe Mars AZ50R machine. And what I think this, the time of this, the whole time of this, was about 15 hours. Yeah, he did it, he, oh, he ran it overnight. Runs it overnight. Mm. And where his where sort of... Um, intelligence or, or engineering ability comes in is he's actually left this area of the tool vacant just in case the customer wants to double up and he can then come yeah. in and spark uh, and once the surface again. finish pool like it, yeah. it's incredible and he yeah. says he can get finer if required um, but I mean that's the surface finish that the client needs for the product anyway absolutely and, and I mean this just demonstrates this looks like a a real handcrafted, although albeit it's not, it's done on a machine, but a piece of quality precision engineering which is produced here at SJ Gym, which has all been done on these Joe Mars machines. So there you go, a nice cost-effective solution if you are considering any of your spark or your wire erosion machines.